Okay, our recording has started. Uh, this is Jill Herman, and this is my husband, TK Herman, and we are your hosts tonight for our very first ever date night. We gather on Zoom every Sunday night for what we call our family meeting, and uh, tonight is special. Our friends who are going to speak tonight gave us the idea of about every six weeks or so having a date night. You don't have to have a spouse or a significant other or even a date for that matter to be a part of this, but First and foremost, it's so the spouses and significant others get to see what we're doing. And, and you know, I don't like stereotypes and generalizations, but I'll tell you statistically, we're like 90% women in this business. And on our team, we're like 99% women. So most of the spouses visiting are guys. And I'm really excited about this because the guys kind of maybe see you doing a little bit of Voxer, they see you talking here and there, but don't, they don't really get to see the behind the scenes. And the beauty of this date night so they get to see who you're working with, but also hear stories from other men, other significant others, other spouses. So um, I am now going to welcome our guest speakers. Uh, this is all super casual, but Holly and Ryan Morris from Texas. And so Holly, if you could just start out and share with everybody who you are, how did you get involved in Juice Plus, you know, a little bit of your story, and then Ryan, you can just take it from there and just share you know, your piece of the puzzle, what was your reaction in the beginning? What have you seen and what's your opinion now? And then we'll go to another question. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for having us. And you said it was laid back and casual. And so um, here's keeping it real. Like I have <laughs> black under my eyes. We forgot the time zone. We're in Texas. And so in our mind, we had 8.30 um, our time. And so <laughs> when I saw Jill's walks were moving out in the yard working and outside, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So here we are in all this beauty coming to you. Um, but we live in Texas and I have been a national marketing director with the company for six years. My six year anniversary was just um, this past week and I've been with the company for 13 years. And um, a little bit about my story is that I was a healthy, sick person. What do, I mean, what do I mean by that? Well, I thought I was really healthy. I was a group fitness instructor, personal trainer. I exercised a ton. I ate what I thought was a healthy diet, and yet I felt miserable more days than I felt good. Um, I have suffered with severe asthma and allergies all my life, and so I was the kid who took, you know, two or three meds a day and breathing machine, you know, on the counter and rescue inhaler and in and out of the hospital with pneumonia, and it's just what I dealt with, and it's just the only, we did the only thing we needed to do. And so fast forward, we're married, we have our first child, he's two, he's on that exact same path. And another mom just in a conversation said, man, it sounds like your immune system should, could really use some help. And I was like, yeah, they totally could. And she was like, have you thought about food and nutrition? And there's a product called Juice Plus. And, um, and honestly, I was super skeptical because as a trainer, I felt like everybody wanted me to take their product to sell it. Um, you know, just super, super skeptical. So I nicely was like, eh, kind of blew her off. And she was very lovingly persistent. And so I looked into it. And honestly, I looked into it because I thought, I want to be able to give her an educated no. You know, I want to be able to give her a really good reason as to why I don't want to do this. But the more I looked at it and saw what you guys all know, you know, that it is food and the research behind it and all these things, I was like, oh, hmm, well, maybe we'll take it. And so I'll let Ron tell you his perspective in a little bit, but we were closet takers <laughs> for a while and um, did not have an interest or a vision or anything for the business. But um, I am frugal and so $50 a year, you know, we could spend that going out on a date. And so it was kind of like, oh, well, you know, if we, if I want our whole family on it and we can get a little money back, okay, let's do that. Um, and then my upline, um, Kathy Crockett, she is a part of, um, her sister actually introduced me, but um, she's the one who was working the business and reached down to me and um, she knew I had a competitive spirit. And so she would dangle these little carrots and go, well, did you know if you just, you know, shared maybe with your mom and dad that you could get this or, you know, did you know? And I'd go, oh, well, yeah, I want that. You know, if there was a little bonus money or a promotion possibility. And um, so anyway, it wasn't until six years ago that um, we really had a vision for the marketing plan and what it could be in this community of people. I've met some of the most amazing people in my life through this company. And so, um, you know, it wasn't until then that we really caught the vision. And when we did, we went all in 110%. We're going to treat it like a business. So we're going to work it like a business and we're going all in. And so that's a little bit of my perspective of how I got started and how we got started on the product and business. I'll let Ron share his. Yeah, well, it's a pretty, thanks for having us, by the way. It's good to be with you guys. And 
um, you know, we laugh because we are definitely all in now, but I certainly wasn't all in the, in the beginning. And, um, you know, I believe the first thing that came out of my mouth when she brought Juice Plus home was, baby, please don't do this to me. I can't take it. Don't start telling everybody about this because I didn't want to be one of those people who bugged somebody and, you know, just when people see you coming, they run the opposite direction. And that's what I had experienced from network marketing. And what I realized quickly is that had nothing to do with the Juice Plus marketing plan or really anybody that we knew that sold Juice Plus or took Juice Plus. And, but what I found out quickly, one of the, one of my really parts of my job description was to break down clinical data for <coughs> physicians and talk about research and trials and what made a good trial, what really uh, made a poor trial. And I just asked Holly for research. And um, I began to look through and realize that this is gold standard stuff. This is not just puny research at, um, you know, certainly from the company or from really institutions that no one cared about. This is like, you know, Yale and Brigham Young and MD Anderson and places that really um, were reputable. And so you've got a product at that point, I think there were 22 trials maybe um, that showed that Juice Plus gets in your body. And then when it does, it does great things for virtually every body system. And so once I understood that piece, I was really sold on the idea of it. And we laugh because, you know, we always say now that it became our business once we got the comma and the check. And then it wasn't just her business, it was our business. And I was excited about it. And I thought, man, this actually could be something. And um, so for a while, it was just kind of like a nice side income. And it was a, you know, it was a car payment. And that was awesome. Um, but once we realized the potential of this and what residual income means, I'd heard that term, but I don't think I really understood the value of long term residual income. And so now what we say is, we're making money today on something that she did 13 years ago. And that blows my mind. It blows my mind because we're no longer trading dollars uh, for hours or hours for dollars. Um, we get to, uh, you know, for her, work when she wants to work. And sometimes she's working really, really hard. And sometimes she's not working much for a couple of weeks because we take a vacation or do whatever we want to do. And for me, um, after I had really watched her work hard and I came on board and really kind of began to support, and maybe th the support in the beginning, guys, looked like me saying, yeah, you know, what a martyr. I'm going to keep the kids uh, while you go to a meeting or to a conference. And, um, but the more I understood the people in this business, um, the business plan and the potential for income, I, I was really all in and began to share and talk about my own product story and how it's affecting me and people that I love. And so it just became something that really made sense to us. And I'll say three years ago, I got to walk away from a corporate job, corporate job making six figures and uh, follow a passion. And now we have a ministry that we love. And um, I make nickels, but it's okay because Juice Plus has really sustained us and I get to wake up every day and serve people that uh, need serving. And it's the biggest blessing of our lives. And so um, that's kind of where we began and where we are now. And it's just an incredible community of people. Well, I just want to just stop there for a second and make sure everybody really took that in. So Ryan was making six figures in his pretty impressive career and walked away from all of that for a ministry. And I just want them to quickly share with you what that is about. So in case you want to get involved or you want to just pray for them, it's, it's an unbelievable uh, organization. And I'm very familiar, as Holly knows, through our friend Catherine. But Ryan, will you just quickly share, or Holly? Yeah, you Well, Pure Hope Foundation is a ministry that we got to launch with Catherine Lee. If you're in the Juice Plus community for very long, you'll know who Catherine Lee is. Um, and we got to meet her a few years ago and began to share vision and um, Holly realized that one of her uh, visions was to serve the the uh, community of trafficking survivors and so um, she began to kind of put together a story and began to tell people and and gather support and Holly heard about what they're wanting to do we reached out talked to them just asked how we could serve and it turned out they ended up meeting um, somebody that had a background like I had and to come and, and work full time. And so uh, we jumped on board. But what we do is um, the vision for Pure Hope Foundation is to uh, strengthen families and restore survivors of sex trafficking. And so what we get to do every day is um, take care of young ladies that have had really, really difficult lives and set them on a path to um, independence in a way that they can thrive. We 
um, do you know everything from counseling to uh, equine therapy, all kinds of different things um, through the program. But then we get to really help them with vocational skills, and it's really kind of a self-development course over the course of about you know 12 to 18 months. And uh, we've had just the most amazing God stories along the way that you wouldn't imagine. The transformation has been spectacular, and uh, watching the Juice Plus community. Uh, hop in and be involved has been one of the greatest blessings for us because it really is. It's kind of the ministry that Juice Plus built in a lot of ways um, with all the support from this group. So it's a brilliant, uh, fun way to live. And um, that's why I'm, there's so many reasons we love Juice Plus, but that's one of the, the keys for me is that it allows us the freedom to do what we want to do. Well, and if I could add real quick, because since you are Juice Plus community, I think it's fun for you guys to know that um, I was saying some of my favorite people in the world I've met through this business. And a lot of those are on my team, you know, because as your team grows, you meet people that you would never know, you know, your friends, friend, their cousins, friend, you know, that come onto your team and they become some of your dearest friends. Um, and again, without the business opportunity and that being a catalyst, I probably would never know those people, but I am not a part of Catherine's team. Um, we're not connected in the Juice Plus community. Um, as far as our businesses go, just like Jill, I think that's what you were saying before we hopped on. Jill and I's businesses are not connected in any way to each other. Um, but you develop these sideline friendships and relationships that just spur you on um, to be the best version of you possible. And our entire board of directors just about is most of them are made up of people from the Juice Plus community that we've met and not, you know, because our businesses are connected just because you meet people and, and um, relationships formed and you're just spurred on to, to, you know, live life in whatever your passions are, whatever that looks like. So it's just so cool because we never dreamed you know, in a million years that we would be where we are today um, because of this company. And, and that's why we had confidence to leave his job in corporate America was because we had an income coming in every single month. That, like he was talking about that residual income as well as the benefits, you know, benefits for our family of four. That was huge. Um, and the fact that the, the ministry was, you know, just getting up and going. I mean, literally it was Catherine's, Catherine's vision and that was it. And they were ready to launch, but there was no funds had not been raised. You know, there was not a board established yet. You know, the 501c3 paperwork. I mean, when we came on board, there was nothing that they could offer us from a financial perspective for us to take. And that was okay. We didn't have to have that. We could go, yeah, we're going to come on board because we already have this other income and benefits. So that's okay. Um, so anyway, that was really, really neat that we were able to do that because of this business. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really was. And side note, once you begin to, walk towards something like that. It's so awesome to watch what the Lord does in return. So he has just blessed us beyond measure. Um, but one of the things I would just add for your case on the phone here is um, find your why. And I think that's what's been a big part of the success other than just straight out blessing and favor is um, that we have a pretty strong why. And not only for our family and our kids and freedom for ourselves, but we get to pour into these young women who it's just, I can't even say enough, it's overwhelming. And so when you find your why, that gives you a reason to, to get on the phone at 8.30 at night or 7.30 yeah. <laughs> here in Texas. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing I'll add, and you guys can ask us whatever too, but um, is that, you know, my why initially was just to be able to stay home with the kiddos and, and as to have, you know, extra money to do above and beyond to give more and to save more, whatever. Um, but it wasn't necessarily money that we had to have or rely on. And, um, but now when we said yes to this and now that he's come home, my why has just exploded. And it's about so much more than me that, you know, my business has exploded, I think, because again, the why was about more than just me. It was so much bigger. Um, so anyway. Yeah, because yeah. I'll share with everyone here that, I mean, Holly and I have been friends for, I don't know how long, maybe three years into my business we met, so maybe seven yeah, years. I mean, well, we've been, yeah, in day six, so yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, About that four long. or five. And yeah. don't talk often, but we just have a strong connection, and and one thing that I will tell you that I've witnessed is Holly's always been wonderful at what she does, and she has a wonderful team, and you can just tell she's the kind of person people want to be around, they want to follow, but when her why got bigger, and she says then her business got bigger, I saw it happen. I messaged her, and I said, uh... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> because when you make when you when you focus on the needs of others and you make your why not necessarily about you, but it's okay to have your why about you, right? Getting your family out of debt is a great why. But when she had her needs met and she said, Well, what if I made it even bigger about serving bigger and making it about other people? 
that's when things really amped up. I mean, she's beyond 50 club. I think they're close to 75 club, aren't you? We're, yeah, we're hoping maybe this next month, we'll see. So those of you who are new, one thing you'll love of our, our company and our community, and it will also drive you crazy, is we don't talk very much about how much money we earn. On one hand, it's just very attractive because everyone's humble and you're not gonna go to our conferences and hear people talk about it, but also you're gonna be like, okay, but I just wanna know like, how much money do you make? So I'm just gonna tell you, Hallie has not told me, I just know the business well enough, that she and Ryan, okay, but she was the driver in the beginning for this business, so I'm gonna give her the credit, Ryan. Um, but, but she's a six-figure earner and plus, Okay, so this is a real business. All of you husbands watching, you see Holly's a real person with kids and all kinds of things going on and active in her church community and her, and her kids' lives before they took on this ministry. And from her phone, has built a business that she's making a six-figure income and it's residual income to the point where her husband did what he explained, which is leaving his job to say yes to something bigger. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, he's got himself a sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I know Ryan now you're involved um, in this business though with Holly but before we get to that I do have one question and then they don't know what I'm asking by the way guys so they're just going to answer on the fly so one of the attractive things about this business is that it's not a get rich quick and we don't advertise it that way I also find and I don't know if the Morrises agree that that can also sometimes frustrate people because they don't get money fast enough and they give up before they get to really see what this business is about. So anything you want to say about that, maybe we'll start with Ryan about the fact of playing the long game, the law of the farm, giving it a couple of years. Like for example, Christabel, uh, Laura, they're brand new. They've been in this, Christabel's like, Christabel is so new. She's got the tags on and the new car smells still. She's like, doesn't even know what she's doing. But what would you say to the spouses about why they want to play the long game and stay in? Well, I would start that. And one of the things that I realized pretty quickly about the residual income piece that is honestly, it's a game changer for me is when you think about $500 a month, um, it's easy to think, well, that's not that much in the scheme of what I could make in a different job. Here's what it changed for me. When I understood that if I were to begin saving up into an account, um, well, and I'll just use a real life example. It took me about nine years in a corporate job to save up about a quarter of a million dollars in a 401k, all right? If I were to draw interest on that 401k, it would probably be about $500 a month. And so I think, okay, so this is money that we have already made that now is just coming in residually. And every, every minute that I pour into this business now, the Choose Plus business, is above and beyond that $500 a month. It's really reasonable in this business to get to that $500 a month level within about six to eight months, okay? If, if you're working it as a business. And so in my mind, instead of waiting nine to 10 years to build up where you're getting residual income back for not working for it anymore, at $500 a month, that return, I can do that in six to nine months, you're telling me? That's when it was a game changer for me, when I understood that piece of it because I'm not working for that same $500 a month anymore. I already did that piece. Now I'm working for the next step. And as I began to realize how that compounded, that really blew my mind. And when you begin to put that into gear, and so you get to go on a two or three week vacation somewhere, and you come back and your paycheck didn't change for that month, that will absolutely just knock your socks off. And Ryan, yeah. Holly, so Holly, sorry. The other thing I'm thinking is, who do you really know who has $250,000 put away? to draw that interest from. Not a lot of people. Right, exactly. And so this is just such a real way that there is a system in place that we can help people, like Ron said, in six months, you know, fast track to sales coordinator and uh, make, you know, that qualified sales coordinator making about $500 a month. Um, so if you're coachable and you work with your upline and you're willing to step outside your comfort zone and be brave and not make it about you, but just make it about a gift that you have to share with other people. If they're interested, great. If they're not, that's okay too. You just have a gift of information and education to share with them about a product and a business opportunity. That's just a gift, you know? And so a lot of it's just your mindset. Um, Jill and I've been doing this long enough together that we have seen each other have seasons in our life where we've gone really fast and our business have exploded and it just seemed like, you know, it was easy and it was fun. And then we've had seasons where we've been like, what are we doing? 
what are we doing? Like, why are we doing this? I'm just getting hit nose, 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 nose. People think I'm crazy. You know, we've had those seasons too. And um, I remember David Beavers, he's a hundred club national marketing director. And he told me one time when I was actually in the really fast, everything's wonderful phase. He said, Holly, I want to tell you that this is so awesome. I'm so proud of you, but it's going to matter if you stay because it's not always going to be like this. So just remember this, that are you going to stay when it gets hard? And so what I, the analogy I compare it to, Ron's the numbers person. So all this stuff that he just said, I'm like, um, okay, whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't get all that. I'm not a numbers person, but, um, I like for me, I think of it as this roller coaster ride. And every, on a roller coaster, if you think about it, you know, there's parts of the roller coaster where you're like, Woo-hoo! you know, your hands are up and it is fun. And you're thinking, this is awesome. You know, this is the greatest thing ever. I'm going to keep doing it over and over and over. And, you know, it's just awesome. And then there's that part you get on it and it's like, ooh, ooh, it's hard and it's jerky. And you're like, what in the world? This is painful. And what am I doing? And oh my gosh, get me off this thing. And, you know, and it's just like, wow. And then what happens? It comes back around and you can get on or off. And it's your choice. If you stay on and stay with it, inevitably, yes, you're going to get through that hard part, but then the fun part's going to come again. And so, you know, that's my encouragement to you, whether you're just starting or you've been here a long time, if you're having, you know, amazing growth right now, or if you're struggling, just stay with it and, and stay the course and do the things that Jill is teaching you to do in the rest of your upline of, you know, your daily method of operation and um, touching your business every day, focusing on those income producing activities, because you are going to get met with a lot of no's and this isn't going to make sense to everybody, but there are people right now who are wishing and praying and crying for help, whether it's with their health, you know, that they're needing help, um, you know, just nutritionally, they have no idea what good nutrition could do for what they're going through health wise or financially. You know, we hear all the time that $500 a month could help someone stay out of bankruptcy. That's the average amount that it would take. And so, you know, you have a possibility of an answer that could bring hope to someone that, um, you know, just keep sharing because it's worth it. They're out there. You just got to find them. The other thing I would add to that is just that, you know, we've actually even seen people that have, that have had a no for us when we've invited them into the business that have gone on to open their own business only to find out for that first three years, they really have a $0 income and they're working 80 to a hundred hours a week. Sometimes when you open your own business, now, sometimes that pays out, but a lot of times it does not. And I will tell you, if you work 80 to 100 hours a week with Juice Plus, <laughs> you would be doing quite well if, um, if you really worked it and, and treated it like you were supposed to treat it. So that was another big aha for me is that when people get in and expect to get rich quick, well, it's not realistic. It's a business. And so to be really clear, when you invite people into the business, this is a business opportunity. It's a fantastic one. And you'll probably never see anything like it, but it is a business. So Ryan, I want to jump in there because I have a funny, I've, I've got an interesting story that, that correlates exactly with what you said. So I actually work with one of my coworkers. Uh, he and his wife started a juicing business um, and they, uh, <laughs> it's a great product. It, it's a great product. They've got a lot of customers and so forth. They've been doing it for three years. And I was just in the car about two or three months ago asking him how it's going. I've just kind of talked business things with him along the way. And I go, finally, I go, are you making money? He goes, you know, he goes, well, we're making a little bit, but we've, but you know, we're really just kind of breaking even this year. And to your point, I was sitting there thinking, you know, again, he, they're doing, they're doing great things by helping people get more healthy, but it's been three years of them investing into this business. Oh, yeah. And they're just it, like literally Saturdays and weekends and evenings doing a tremendous right. work. And in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, okay, that's interesting because you know, we invited them in there. Yeah, yeah. And they said, no. Um, and, uh, and so they went down a different path, which is fine, but I've used that example several times with people. And to your point that, you know, I think down the road a ways, you know, five years down the road, they'll have a very successful business, but it's taken a long time to get there. And there's so many yeah. people that look at, you know, when the paycheck comes and it's only a hundred dollars, not realizing, you know, that, that, that you're moving towards something. And I really liked your analogy. I'd never thought about it that way as far as looking at the income almost as like that interest income that I would get off an investment over here. I think that's a fantastic way to look at it. And I'm I'm glad we're talking about this piece um, and we're just about finished here, but I think it's important because uh, not to generalize, but I think a lot of men do look at numbers and they're, if they're the spouse, sometimes they're looking at the paycheck and saying, really, you're putting all this time in for this little bit. 
And I remember, um, I personally struggled with that in the beginning. And I remember someone saying to me, the thing is, Jill, you're looking at this like you, um, it's almost like, you know, when some people look at juice plus and they look at it like a supplement or a vitamin and they're trying to apply that knowledge to it or that filter to it. And you're like, it's not the same thing. I applied, and I think some of the husbands here sometimes, maybe not here, none of you, of course, some husbands apply the experience they have in their traditional job or in their wife's traditional job of maybe your, the number of hours you put in comes out directly in a paycheck. I was a nurse. I clocked in, I clocked out, right? I worked this many hours, I got this much of a paycheck. So I would put all these hours in and I'd get a check for 60 bucks or 150 bucks and it looks like it's a flop. But um, so I think just adding to the point you've already made, but what would you say, um, speaking to the spouses now, um, the husbands we have on right now, either one of you or both, as we finish here, what would you say would be your biggest ask of them? Not advice, but if you could wave a magic wand and get them to be a certain way or do something to support their spouse the most in this journey, now that we've already proven it's a great idea, what would you both say? I, I would just say that wh here's what I know um, and what we've seen over the last 13 years is that the people in this company who are super successful, I would say the majority of them have a very supportive spouse, if not a very engaged spouse in the business itself. Um, there's something really powerful about the, that, that next level of validation. You can tell somebody something, but then when somebody else comes along as a third party and validates what you're saying, it adds to the credibility of the conversation. So I would just say that first. It's probably not a direct answer to your question. Um, I guess what I would say if I could wave a magic wand and, and um, just create an environment, it would be <laughs> it would be get on the same page as far as your, your why, figure it out together. Um, what's important to you and what do you want in the next few years and realize that this is a business model that can take you there. And, um, and once I think we realized that and got on the same page, it became less of a hassle. And, it, it, you know, I don't know if any of you guys on here have been guilty of using the word babysit for your own kids. Um, it's kind of a lame word, I guess, for uh, kids, but I, you know, I've, I'll be really honest. I've been there like, okay, you're making $60 a month and you're going to go to a conference for a weekend. I'm like, come on now. And, um, and, and again, shame on me, but that's just the case. And but then again, once I realized, first of all, this is something that's filling her up. Um, it's something that will eventually fill our family up and will begin to create freedom and options for us. It's just a no brainer. Yeah, and I would just add that, um, you know, an event like this, I think the first few times Ron came to an event and actually met some of the people in the community and some of the other men, he was, he saw a vision and was like, oh, okay, these are good people. You know, these are real people. These are people that, you know, could be doing lots of other things. And they are, they're doctors and teachers and coaches and dentists and whatever. And yet they're choosing to do this as well. I think when he kind of saw that, um, he saw possibilities too. So I would agree that when we first started this business and I knew that he was a kind of like trying to be supportive, but also whenever I would want to go do something or do an event or gonna think it was kind of like, okay, now how often are you going to do this? Or there was, there was just some, even though as much as he was trying to be supportive, I knew. And so I was always kind of like, me, I'm not going to do much of that. And then, um, yeah, something changed for us and we decided to go for it. And we did have that conversation and we had it with our kids too, which I would say, you know, if any of you have kids out there, whatever their ages, our kids were young then, and we brought them into it. And we were like, all right, guys, you know, we're going to work really hard for a goal this year, which means that mom's going to have to work some too. And so I'm going to have to have some time. And I was homeschooling at the time. So my kids were with me all day. And so it was like, you know, I've got to have some time where I'm not interrupted. And this is the time you're going to do this and the time I'm going to do that. And, and it was really cool, I think, for them to see me set goals and for me to succeed and for me to fail and for us to talk through all that as a family and um you know for them to see that they are my world but the world does not revolve around them you know and so that it was okay for me to say you know no this is time that I'm working and you're going to need to do something else um so it's been a really great journey for us through the years and for them to see that um 
and then to celebrate when we met goals and when things happened, that was awesome. And so I would say too, that support can be as simple as like he was saying, watching the kids or, or cleaning up the house or, you know, cooking dinner that night or, you know, just having an attitude of blessing of saying, yes, go do that, you know, go do that. That'd be a great thing. And then um, it can be bigger too. And I'll give you an example. Um, one of my teammates this month was going for a really big goal that included a good bonus for her. And she worked really, really hard for it and just came up a little bit short. And I just love that her husband came behind her and he said, you know what? That's okay. That bonus was short-term money. That was short-term cash that was going to be awesome. And yes, it stinks, but you know what? We're in it for the long haul. We're in it for the long term and you've created momentum and you've increased your paycheck and we're just going to keep riding it. And we're going to know that we're going to make that up over this next year anyway in the long game. And I just thought, man, that support. We know because it took her from a place of feeling really defeated to feeling super accomplished and empowered to just keep moving forward. So it's things like that that I think you can do that really make a difference. And maybe just on a more general um, level, I think the one thing that I've learned, we've been married 20 plus years now. And one thing that I've learned too is that just in general, if she's in, interested in something, that I'm going to try my best to be interested in it just as a matter of our marriage and our relationship. And so, you know, early in our marriage, I don't think that I was that way. It was more like, this is your stuff. This is my stuff. And I think when we find the unity in that piece of it, it just makes our, our marriage and our family better. But then again, you get the other benefits of your business growing as well. Yeah. And I think that both, all of us, I think would agree the people on our team who, um, first of all, if you're watching and you're like, well, I don't have a spouse like that, or I don't have a spouse, you can still be successful. Holly knows me well enough to know that I didn't. Um, in my previous life, um, I had real struggle and I had no one supporting me and I still figured it out. So you can still do it and ha bar borrow that support from other people, right? But just know that you do deserve that support. And the spouses that are watching, thank you for being on tonight because that shows that you are supportive. Just being on here, you know, for 35 minutes, it's a big deal to your spouse. I don't know if you really know how big it is. I work with these women every day and I will tell you, the women who don't feel supported by their spouse and they don't feel like they're going fast enough, their paycheck isn't big enough, I don't think you realize how much it affects her business. It just being the wind underneath her wings and saying you're doing great, even if you don't see the paycheck growing, is probably going to be what ends up growing the paycheck. So I would encourage you to just be super supportive no matter what that paycheck says. I was just going to clarify that for the men that are on here that don't know us, that that was before me. Yeah, I said my other <laughs> life. No, sorry. That was my previous life. Sorry. Yes, I am remarried. Sorry about that. that awkward. Sorry. Uh, but just, no, if anyone's watching and they say, well, gosh, I can't be successful because I don't have that. That's not an excuse that'll work. Um, okay. So um, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for leaving the yard and writing in to do this with us. It was so wonderful. And if you could type before we finish, um, anyone who wants to contribute or somehow get involved with Pure Hope, maybe just put something in the comments there so people know how to connect with sure. them and maybe tell their community about yeah, it. Yeah, that's very kind. Thank you guys so yes. much for that. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Thanks to everybody. And so uh, Ryan, as she's typing, tell everybody why, tell the spouses why, they just, they need to be supportive of their wife going to Phoenix, even if she's not making much money with Juice Plus. Preach to the choir. Hey, well, well, let me say this. Um, let me say, first of all, it's okay to be skeptical. Um, I do want to give a permission for that because there are a lot of really bad business models out there. It's okay to be skeptical up front, but I will say, um, ask the questions and I can almost guarantee you'll be pleased with the answers. Um, you deserve to, to have your, your questions answered. And so ask, and if there's a way that we can even, you know, help in that journey, then we'd be glad to. Um, but I will say, when you go to conference, your mind will change. If, if you don't know the people of Juice Plus, it will blow your mind who these people are. And I can pretty much tell you across the board, if you're not making the conferences, it's not voodoo and it's not brainwashing. It is just great information from great people. Um, make your way there. It's an investment, yes, but it is worth every single dollar. And we say, amen. <laughs>
All right. So much. Thank you guys for having us on. Thank you very much. And thanks for the idea for us to do this. It was a just awesome idea. And, and we're so excited about your goal and what your team is going for. Um, and we can't wait to see you in Phoenix. All right. Yes, I hope to meet all you guys there. If you see me, please stop and say hi. I'd love to meet you. Great to be with you guys. Thanks for having us. Good night, everybody. See you guys.